really permaculture is a holistic design science, an integrated design science that seeks how do it, it seeks the answer to how do we live on earth sustainably. So a brief history, uh, Bill Mollison and David Holmgren. Uh, David Holmgren was a, a really great student and his thesis was how do we set up sustainable systems as a design science? You know, how do we how do we create a design science that will, uh, in the in the end, give us a sustainable future? Uh, Bill Mollison was his professor who probably instigated a lot of this thinking because he had been the guy has been working in the forest for 10 years, he's been working, you know, for the uh, fisheries and wildlife in Australia. He'd been noticing all these patterns in nature and had realized uh, that the patterns that are found in nature can be used actually to design sustainable systems. So it was kind of almost a, they fired off of one another, you know, it's not that he was the professor and he was the student or anything. It w they were both teacher and student at the same time. And David Holmgren's main interest was also the same thing. Amazing. So now Bill Mollison uh, wrote, well, okay, going back just a step. This was, this was in the 70s when in Australia the back to the land movement was pretty heavy. And uh, so they were really trying to find ways to get back to the land, to create sustainable systems, create sustainable societies. So they came up with this this uh, design science called, and they eventually coined it, Bill did, as permaculture. Now Bill went around teaching it, interestingly enough. He was like this person who went out there and he just went out and dispersed the seeds. Mm -hmm. David bought two and a half acres, or I think it was two, maybe it was two hectares, so maybe four acres, but he designed it, you know, uh, did all the earthworks, built a mud house uh, that's all solar, and he's, you know, he took detailed records of everything he did. He was really scientific, you know. He wasn't necessarily so much loosey-goosey like us hippies. But, but in so doing, over 20 years, he not only created a sustainable system, he raised a family, he raised a son, you know, had a wife, all these things. So, very different strategies. You know, he went out and taught it, he stayed home and did it. Even though Bill Mollison did have a site, and still does, a number of sites, actually, that he changed into sustainable systems. And David Holmgren's place is still there, now he's producing more food and uh, fodder and fuel wood and all this stuff that he's, he's producing so much on this small piece of land, suburban land, that he's inviting people to move there because they can't eat it all. They can't use it all, you know. So, um, so depending on, on which person you read currently, will decide what principles you want to uh, advocate or you want to teach or a, but I like a mixture of all of them. Um, <clears throat> I'm, we're not going to go through them in detail but I'll give you some ideas of what those principles are. David Holmgren breaks them down into, Bill Mollison does not do this, David Holmgren <coughs> breaks the principles down into ethics, there's ethical principles and then there's um, design principles. So the ethics are uh, <coughs> care for the earth, care for the people. Now, people and people traditionally and indigenously meant all the tribes, not just the human tribe, the ant tribes, the bear tribes, animal tribes, all the tribes we don't see, you know, all those people. 
So, and then um, nowadays they say fair share, uh, but it was redistribution of surplus is what it was originally. Uh, fair share is really an interesting take on it or evolution of it. You know, I, I don't necessarily agree with it because it sounds almost like a marketing ploy, kind of like fair trade. You know, fair share. Um, <clears throat> And what is fair, you know, and what is share? These are the things that Adam Turtle brought up in a design course we taught last year. Um, so I'm going to keep with the original, which was redistribution of surplus. So that means, like Daniel Quinn said, if you have something, give it back to the system to encourage more growth, to encourage more regeneration. Be a giver more than you're a taker. And that's really kind of a spiritual heavy thing. You know, um, so redistribution of surplus where it's needed. Uh, and then, then that actually goes back to, you know, designing where the surplus goes. Where does the surplus go? Who's going to benefit the more? Because so constantly this going back on loop, re-looping, you know, uh, design principles. So you, you would have to go back up here, where's our ethics, it goes back to the earth, it goes back to the people. So, so you can see, actually, the ethical part of it is actually a system, a closed loop system within itself. The design principles uh, are broken off into two different types as well. Bill has his, David has his, he does it in a flower. This is his way of doing it. Whereas Bill's was the egg, the infamous egg, with the the serpent eating its tail, showing that there is a... And then within that, there's a tree. And within that, there's water. And within that, there's fields and flowers and animals and pears and peaches or, you know, all these things. He showed... So there's these different symbols. Um, I personally like both of them. 